This video is about neutralisation reactions. A neutralisation reaction is a reaction between an acid and a base. Now it might be a, um, a base that you see written down or you might actually see the word alkali written down. An alkali is a special form of a base that dissolves in water. So you may see the word base or you may see the word alkali if it's a particular base that dissolves in water. Now when an acid and a base react, water is one of the products and that gives you an indication that it is a neutralisation reaction when water is produced because water as we know is a neutral substance. This colour chart here indicates the pH scale for acids and alkalis. The pH scale is made from adding an indicator called universal indicator. And if you add a universal indicator to an acid or an alkali, it will turn a certain colour depending on the pH of the acid or alkali. Well, pH um, 1 and pH 2 are the really strong acids down the left hand side here and they get weaker and weaker and weaker until they get to neutral where you would find pure water. On the other side of the scale you get your alkalis and they go into the deep purples until over here at pH 14 you get your strong alkalis compared to over here where you have your strong acids. So you can see straight away how by mixing an acid with an alkali that you might get back to this neutral point here in this neutralisation reaction. Acids are found in things such as citrus fruits, um, car batteries and there's an also um, hydrochloric acid in your stomach as well to help protect you against germs. Alkalis on the other hand are found in things such as soaps and bleach and indigestion tablets and things. When they react together, acids and bases, they form a salt and water. And in some cases other products too, such as carbon dioxide. So a good example here, if we had a metal oxide and we reacted it with acid, we would make a salt and water, indicating that it's a neutralisation reaction. A metal hydroxide and acid would make a salt and water and a metal carbonate and acid would make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. And the salt part is either going to be named as a chloride, a sulphate or a nitrate depending on the acid that has reacted in the equation. For example, if we take a metal oxide like calcium oxide and we reacted that with the first one, hydrochloric acid, we would make a salt which is called a chloride. So we just take the word calcium and add the word chloride. So calcium chloride. plus water. In the next example if we used a metal hydroxide we could have magnesium hydroxide. This time I'm going to react it with sulfuric acid to make a sulphate and this would then make magnesium sulphate plus water. 
And finally, for an example of a metal carbonate, I can use something like sodium carbonate. I'll react that with the final acid, which is nitric acid, to make sodium nitrate this time, because it's nitric acid. plus water and plus carbon dioxide. Now I can see this one's going to be different because you've got carbon in the carbonate here so there's a little hint here from the carbon in the carbonate to tell you that one of your products is going to be carbon dioxide. So in all of these reactions a base is reacted with an acid and water is one of the products along with the salt. The name of the salt depends on whether you use hydrochloric, sulfuric or nitric. For more help on naming salts, watch my video on making salts.